I'm Third Sergeant Muhammad Faisal bin Johandi. I'm a medic in the Medical Response Force of the SAF Medical Corp. The Medical Response Force, or MRF, is a unit that treats victims from chemical incidents. I'm in charge of the treatment section in the MRF platoon. Here, in the treatment section, we deal with the resuscitation and treatment of victims of chemical incidents. Victims go through triage, decon and screening. After that, we stabilise the victims before they are sent to the hospital. Being a highly specialised unit, I went through intensive training. I first attended the paramedic level 1 course that all combat medics go through at the SAF Medical Institute. 35 of us were then chosen to go through the MRF conversion course. This was when the learning curve got really steep with all this specialised information about chemical, biological and radiological agents. After that, I went through the paramedic level 2 course to become a combat medic specialist. Then finally, the advanced MRF course. Seven months of training brought me to this point. During operations, each trooper will carry with him vital equipment to ensure that he is well protected as well as to ensure that you can perform procedures for the casualty on site. First, you have your gas mask carriage pouch, which contains, first and foremost, your gas mask, which protects you from vapour agents. Next, you have your individual survival kit, which you can use to protect yourself against agents as well as to perform any intervention in the event that you are exposed to the agents. You have your Mark 1. Okay, you jab the Mark 1 onto yourself in the event that you are exposed to the agents. Next, you have the droplet pouch. It contains equipment for you to perform critical medical intervention on casualties. Right, you have tools such as the um, headlamp, the torchlight, the oral pharyngeal airway, all of which to ensure that the casualty can be saved on site when you first approach the casualty. Right, next, and of course the most important one is the mop suit. Right, this is a chemical protective suit which each trooper is issued with. Okay, it's carbon layered. It looks like a normal SAF uniform. However, it is thicker and very much hotter. All this used to make sure you are safe and also you can save the casualties when you see them. We are deployed alongside the Singapore Civil Defence Force at national events to respond to any emergencies. In the event of a terrorist attack or an accident involving chemical substances, we stand ready to provide immediate medical care to victims. Sure, it means we can spend being on standby, but we understand that we serve a special purpose and we are proud that we can make a difference. No one likes being in the mob suit, but it's part and parcel of the job. We know that we have to protect ourselves in order to help others. My hope is that there will never be a serious chemical incident, but if it does happen, my team and I will be there for Singaporeans. My time in the Medical Response Force has sparked an interest in medicine and that is what I intend to pursue in the future in National University of Singapore. I'm Third Sergeant Muhammad Faisal bin Johandi and I am a soldier.